Hello, friends. Welcome back, guys. We're just uh, switching off to some Zelda to end the night. Yep. And we played some Mario Strikers, which turned out beautifully for me. Yeah, for you. Oh, we had like two good matches, yeah, and, and then, then one like got really bomb bullcrap stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. Me. Me. But. In it. In it. In it. This game's hard. No. You don't. You're full, so just go away. Well, I'm gonna. Oh, I can go up there. I forgot. I thought it was locked, okay? Alright. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. We're just having a little of uh, a, 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 a tiff there. A tiff. A tiff. Uh, so, in Strikers, I was trying to talk about um, the MMO state of the game right now. Yeah. And I am hardcore into MMOs in terms of... I always want the, the MMO that I play to be the MMO that's for me. You know what I mean? Like, we all want the MMO to be like, this is what I'm going to play, and I'm good, and I'm happy with it. <clears throat> and for a while, I had that with uh, Worm Online, which is like a crafting MMO kind of deal. You can go. You don't have to do that, any of this. You just, you just leave. <clears throat> uh, and then that game kind of got stale with the whole... So the problem with that game, uh, for anybody who doesn't know what it is, it's basically like a crafting, survival-y kind of game. You pretty much do whatever you want, um, <clears throat> but it, it takes it takes a bit of work. Like, you can't go a into bit it of just, work. You can't go into it just expecting it's going to be like, oh, here we go, we're doing cool stuff. Like you have to put some time into it. But once you do, it's a really fun game. But the problem is, you have the you have a big key. <clears throat> the problem is, oh, let's, we're gonna let Eric fight this boss for a hot minute. You can talk. It, it helps me if you talk. Okay. Uh, the problem is with that is that um, <clears throat> pretty much everything that there was to discover in that game got discovered. And that was kind of the joy of the game. Was like people didn't know what to do, but then <clears throat> they released a standalone version of it. Uh, which had the source, co the source code available to everybody, so then they kind of like figured out the best way to do everything, and then it was not as much fun anymore. So it was basically like, once the mystery was gone, there was nothing to do. So, that's kind of why I stopped playing that. But it's still a fun, a fun conceptual game, like there's just a lot of stuff to do. It just takes a long time, and like, some of my characters are like, <coughs> like really high level in certain crafting like uh at one point i had the highest uh alchemy skills in the server <laughs> so people would come on and be like hey make this alchemy really thing for me and it was really cool but then i stopped playing for like a month <laughs> and all these people got more skills and they added a bunch of stuff to make skilling more more e easily attainable and there was that. Um, okay. I was gonna say, can I try? But I I know the the problem I had last time. So all right, we're if gonna I get have the, one more try. The problem we had last time. Yeah, which was I didn't realize that the thing was unlocked, and I was trying to unlock it. Don't unlock. It's already unlocked. So continue. Uh, I was just gonna play anything about the game. So, uh, the problem with MMOs right now, in my opinion, is that there's really, you know, the two kinds. There's the theme park, and then there's the, uh, survival-ish <laughs> kind of game. And the problem with theme park is... So, well, for people who don't know, like, give an example of a theme park MMO. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, pretty much... All of the big MMOs right now are theme park in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, 
there's like a certain path you have to go along to get to end game. And some of them at end game have a little more freedom, but not a ton. Like I I played Guild Wars 2 for a while, and there was some freedom in that, but most of the freedom was revolving around getting cool stuff to make your armor and, and weapons look, look cool. Um, I think the best thing about Guild Wars 2, though, was the mounts, because all the mounts have like, special abilities and stuff, <coughs> and you had to work to get certain mounts. Once you got them, they were like super awesome. <coughs> Which that was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, there's only like the theme park option or the um, the survival option, the grindy option. But most of the survival modes are quote unquote full loot PvP, which basically means. Me and a bunch of my friends are gonna come steal all your crap, and there's nothing you can do about it. And that's the problem, like, there's no way to enforce fair fights in those kind of games. It's usually just like 30 dudes no coming up and destroying everything that you ever cared about. Oh my god. Alright, I think it's my turn to give it a shot. Let me give the old college try. Alright. I'm gonna overpower your desire to to do it and I'm gonna do it I'm gonna win all I do is win 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 well my experience with MMOs were World of Warcraft primarily like that was the one I got super into um I got kind of into Star Wars The Old Republic oh that game is pretty cool that game is cool for all the wrong reasons all the wrong reasons all the wrong reasons like, because the best part of the game for me was the single player experience. Yeah, that's pretty much the consensus with that game. Is. Yeah. Like, the, like, it was cool. Like, you could be... The fact that you could be a light side Sith was awesome. Yeah. Um, and I did that because it was cool. The rest of the game, though, was just very unthought out. And it was like, wow, I wish I was playing on Silver Cup right now. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the complaint about that game is it could, it could have been nice to the old Republic three, but instead they made an MMO they made because an that was to make money. Um, oh wow, that like threw me across the board. You don't have to do any of that. Oh, I thought there would hopefully be something in those pots. Well, I guess we'll just kill this guy with two hearts then. Oh wait. Um, the next down was, uh, remember DDO online? Oh, that game or was cool. DDO. I hated it. I mean, because I loved of, it. I hated it because of the dice rolls. Yeah, that's why I, I loved it. I hated it because I knew that the dice rolls were, as you call it, rng -bus. Jeebus. As in, like, it wasn't like a real dice roll, it was just whatever the computer decided was going to come up that day. Yeah, well, that's the problem with computer doing RNG, because... Yeah. There's no true random right. computers can't what do that. Is, what is shooting me across the board? Uh, when they come out, so they, they shoot diagonals uh -huh. when they come out. So you, you and have to be you? like... Yeah. It's dumb. Well... That's why I was kind of like, like I, I kind of had it down a little bit, and you're like, "Give it." Well, I want to try. No, you can try, but I'm telling you, that's like that's why it was hard. I just know that's a thing. It was a thing. Um. Also, there was. I played a good amount of Guild Wars. Guild Wars One. Uh, I played a little bit of Guild Wars Two. When it first came out. Oh yeah, because I had your character on my friends list. Yeah. Um. Also, City of Heroes. Oh man, that, that game was great. That game was really cool. I think we mostly played more of City of Villains, though. Yeah. Well, you know, Jilly Valentine. Yeah, Jilly Valentine and whatever my guy's name was. I just remember Jilly Valentine. 
No offense to your guy. I'm sure he was cool and stuff. But... I don't remember his name was. I, I remember Jilly Valentine, though. Um... Didn't they make, like, a... Oh, City of Champions, was it? Yeah, but it, it was supposed to be a successor to that. But it just it was not as good. The City of Heroes is really cool. What happened, though? Like, why did it fail when World of Warcraft succeeded? I don't know. And then there was always, uh, you know, the one that started it all, Final Fantasy XI. For us, yeah. I mean, I mean, EverQuest was yeah, the I was original. Yeah, say, most people think yeah. EverQuest, or would edit EverQuest to be the, the jam. Yeah. Or also online, which unfortunately I never got to play. But I heard it was, like, pretty cool and stuff. Oh, that's not the button you wanted. But I remember, like, the first time I ever, like, got into Final Fantasy XI, uh, I played a, uh, well, what were those Bolvar? things called? Yeah, I remember, yeah, his name is Bolvar, but it was a, uh... Oh, yeah. What was that race the called? The big dude. Um... Galka. That sounds right. Yeah, it was a Galka. And he was, a. Uh... A warrior, monk, and then he became a dragoon. Dragoon! And then I stopped playing the game. Yeah, that sounds alright. Because there was so much grinding in that game. <coughs> it was like, yeah. it was just finding... That was the game. Yeah. It was just finding a party, trying to kill rabbits that were that were more powerful than meets the eye. Yeah, like Robus in disguise. Yeah, Robus. Like Robus. Fudge. <sighs> oh, nice. out and shoots bullets everywhere. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Finding three pendants is in sight. Go for the last one. Well, bing. So I am 100% ready to call this an episode. <laughs> 